there are a lot of strange foods in the world. From the infamous and stinky durian fruit to live octopus yeah, people really that. Some foods are actually so bizarre that the United States government has been forced to ban them outright. From bizarre sounding meats to beverages that could make you hallucinate, we've found 15 foods that are officially banned from some, if not all, of the 50 states in the US. If you think the US has a somewhat normal relationship with food, think again. Let's start this video from the number 15. Shark fins. We start off this list with something that isn't totally banned in the United States, but the shark enthusiast in me thinks it should be banned everywhere. Believe it or not, shark fins are not entirely banned in the US. Currently, only 12 states uphold an official ban on the sale of shark fins. However, the act of shark feeding itself has been illegal in U.S. water since 2000. Florida senators have introduced a bill into U.S. Congress that would ban shark feeding in federal waters. A current tactic used to lure sharks in for close encounters scuba and cage dives. Shark finning is banned as it is considered an act of animal cruelty because it involves a slicing of fins off live sharks. Simply toss them overboard and endure horrific demise. Number 14. Foie gras. Foie gras is a specialty food product made of the liver of a duck or goose. According to French law, foie gras is defined as the liver of a duck or goose fattened by gavage. In Spain and other countries, it is occasionally produced using natural feeding. Their controversial eats programs may be a celebrated delicacy of French cuisine, but the way it's made is very unethical which is why the city council in Chicago places a ban on the production and sale of the dish from 2006 to 2008. More recently the state of California officially banned the sale of the delicacy after former attempts had been challenged in previous years for grass is the fatty liver that comes from either duck or geese. The liver is fattened by force feeding until the liver swells. As one could imagine this is so uncomfortable for the bird that they begin to tear out their feathers or even injure one another out of distress. Nationwide ban has yet to be enforced however it may be on the horizon with California's successful ban just last year. Number 13. Ortolan. They are tiny songbirds. I can literally hear you asking right now who in the world would want to eat a songbird. Ortolan. Eating this extremely small European bird is illegal in the US and the EU, and it's even illegal to sell in France, all because of its decreasing population. Poaching reportedly caused a 30% dip in its population between 1997 and 2007. The diner traditionally veils their face with a napkin before consuming the bird bones, feet, head, and everything but the beak in a single bite. Number 12. Sassafras Oil. While the root bark of the sassafras plant has historically been used by Native Americans to treat illnesses including fever and rheumatism, the oil from sassafras lends a different result. Here is a compounded size of raw oil called saffron, which is a known carcinogenic. You don't know what a carcinogen is. Well, there are substances that have been proven to cause cancer in humans. The FDA set a ban on sassafras oil back in the 60s, but again this is not a complete ban. Extracts from the roots of the plant are still legal as long as they do not contain saffron. Number 11. Aki Fruit. Another food item that is banned but not really banned is the aki fruit. Aki fruit is a national fruit of Jamaica. However, when it's unripe, the fruit contains high levels of toxin hypoglycemia which inhibit the body's ability to release blood glucose. This can cause people to fall into a state of hypoglycemia, a condition where glucose levels are too low. This can induce vomit and ultimately cause dehydration and even result in death. Importation of raw fruit was banned by the FDA in 1973, but you can still purchase canned or frozen ackee fruit in the U.S. that have been cleared to have a low enough concentration of the toxin. Number 10. Sea Turtles. Sea turtles are caught and killed for their meat in some countries. They're even considered a delicacy, but you'd be surprised to know that they're caught and killed for meat even in the USA. In 2007, the USA Fish and Wildlife Service reported that conservationists estimated that 35,000 sea turtles are consumed annually in California alone. 
Now according to Sea Turtle Conservancy, sea turtles are given legal protection in the USA and its waters under the Endangered Species Act. It's illegal to import them as food or for any other purpose. Number 9. The Queen Conch. The Queen Conch is a large marine snail that lives in the Caribbean Sea and adjacent waters and is one of the most valuable fishery resources for every country throughout its range. Queen conch was once found in high numbers in the Florida Keys, but, due to a collapse in conch fisheries in the 1970s, it is now illegal to commercially or recreationally harvest queen conch in that state. The United States is responsible for the consumption of 80% of the world's internationally traded queen conch. It is not illegal for any person to obtain or keep queen conch shells from the waters or lands of the state of Florida, as long as the removed shells do not contain a live animal at the time. Also the snail must not be mutilated, removed from its protective shell, or killed before taking the shell. Number 8. The Japanese Pufferfish. This whimsical-looking fish actually houses an extremely poisonous toxin called tetrodotoxin in its skin and even in certain organs. This toxin is known to cause paralysis and even death. In mind, you may wonder why would anyone want to consume this dish? Apparently, it's regarded as a delicacy in the sushi world where it's more widely known as fugu. Consumption of the fish is almost entirely banned in the USA with the exception of a few sellers who are permitted to have a license. Number 7. Kasumartsu. Kasumartsu is often referred to as rotting cheese because there's really no other way to describe it as rotten cheese. This cheese hails from Sardinia and is completely forbidden here. Because of its status as traditional food, the cheese managed to maintain its legal status within the European Union. Just listen to this description of how the cheese is made and you'll understand the ban. This cheese from the Italian island of Sardinia is made from sheep's milk and contains live maggots. Yes, maggots. After the fermentation process, the cheese is left to rot among swarms of fly larvae. This alters the texture of the cheese so that it's soft and liquid seeps out. This cheese is illegal not only in the USA, but also in the entire European Union. Since maggots can actually live inside the intestine, consuming this cheese poses a significant health risk. If you really must try the fly-ridden round of Kasumarzu, you'll have to risk heavy fines for breaking the law by buying it on the black market. Oh, and you'll also be risking pseudosiasis the condition that can occur when you consume those bugs. Number 6. Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs. Those who have traveled in Europe know how popular Kinder chocolate is, but the main reason it hasn't gained traction in the US is because not all of Kinder's products are legal here. Specifically, the hollow Kinder Surprise eggs are prohibited in the states because they contain non-edible items inside them. Here's the good news. A different version of Kinder Eggs, called Kinder Joy, should become available in the US sometime in 2018. These also contain a surprise toy, but their packaging seals both halves of the hollow egg to keep the toy away from the rest of the candy, making them fully compliant with FDA regulations. Number 5. Mangosteen. Mangosteen is a fruit that is enjoyed throughout Southeast Asia, is highly coveted for its many healing properties that have been shown to successfully treat numerous diseases in Asia for thousands of years. Now I understand why the previous entries were banned, but why is such a beneficial wholesome fruit banned as well? Well, as it turns out, not only humans who enjoy eating this fruitarian fruit, but flies also find them very tasty. Recently it's been illegal to import it as fresh fruit in the USA due to fears that it could harbor the Asian fruit fly which is something that could destroy USA crop. Number 4. Beluga Caviar. Beluga Caviar is caviar consisting of the row of the Beluga Sturgeon Huso Huso. The fish is found primarily in the Caspian Sea, the world's largest saltwater lake, which is bordered by Iran, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Turkmenistan. In the end, the sturgeon population couldn't keep up with demand and their coveted eggs became the jewels of the luxury food scene. Today, caviar imports and exports are closely regulated in the US, which is partly why it's so expensive. Legality In 2005, 
the United States made it illegal to import beluga caviar and beluga sturgeon into the country because of the animal's endangered status. Many other countries allow for the import and export of beluga sturgeon caviar, as the fish has started making a comeback in recent years. Number 3. Horse meat. To be clear it's not illegal to eat horse meat in the USA. It is, however, illegal to slaughter horses and by default prohibits the consumption of it. At least makes it extremely challenging that is unless you're perfectly fine with eating the meat of a horse who has died of sickness or natural causes. Former President Donald Trump renewed the ban on slaughtering horses for meat in March 2018. As is the case with other animals it's not illegal or even taboo to eat in other countries such as China which is one of the largest markets for horse meat. They have a large market for dog meat as well, but that's a totally different story. Number 2. Haggis. Haggis is a savory pudding containing sheep's pluck, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt, mixed with stock, and cooked while traditionally encased in the animal's stomach though now often in an artificial casing instead. If you're like most Americans, probably not. In fact, you may not even be entirely sure what it is a 2003 poll of American tourists visiting Scotland reported in The Guardian found that 33% of those surveyed thought haggis was some type of animal. The awful truth is, haggis is actually a foodstuff concocted of a sheep's stomach filled with that same sheep's liver, heart, and lungs, as well as oatmeal, suet, stock, onions, and spices. According to Edward R. Blondes, Ph.D., a nutritional expert who sits on the board of the University of California's Berkeley Wellness, sheep's lungs can contain fluid from the stomach fluid he calls microbial-rich gunk. So it's kind of a food safety risk. Our team is working hard behind the scenes and we just want small favor from you. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get a notification of our upcoming. Let move to the number one. Pig's blood cake. Pig's blood cake is a blood pudding served on a stick as street food in Taiwan. Its alternative name is black cake. It is made with steamed pork blood, sticky rice, and then coated in peanut powder with dipping sauces. Pig's blood cake came from Fujian to Taiwan and then developed. It is eaten as a snack. Pig's blood curd is rich in riboflavin, vitamin C, protein, iron, phosphorus, calcium, niacin, and other minerals. Moreover, it is easy for the body to digest and absorb. It also contains a certain amount of lecithin and can curb the harmful effects of low-density cholesterol. The Taiwanese food specialty of pig's blood and rice mixed together and put on a stick is banned by the USDA, as the preparation method is considered unsanitary. Still, tourists and locals seem to enjoy this dish, but for now not in the USA. This is the end of this video. If you have anything to share then use the comment box for that.